Hey guys, welcome back to Sword of Convalaria. In today's video, we've got a new code, so I wanted to give you guys that one. It's nothing crazy that's going to get you a bunch of summons, but it is a collector's item, so you guys may want to pick it up. And then I want to give you guys an, my update. We're, we're a bit over a week into the game. Uh, they've done the uh, 5 million download uh, you know, event going on, and I want to give you guys my general summary of the game after playing it for a week at Global. So first of all, let's go through the code. We're going to go over here. We're going to go to where's the setting buttons. I'm so used to this on phone uh, and we go to redeem code that is going to be your code s o c m l s t n 40k basically this is for getting 40k members in their discord uh, and we go redeem uh, success happy days let's go back out and let's check our mailbox dude I feel like it's so much more intuitive on the phone. Anyway, it's this little bad boy here. If you're wondering what that is, you can go ahead and claim it. And then we can go over to the home decoration. Like I said, for those that like collector's stuff, this one is there for you. Um, and you can put it in there. Happy days. There you go. Like I said, some people will value that heavier than summons. Uh, me personally, not. I uh, I just put summons. But that is what it is. So let's go through the game. So I'm wrapped to the uh, doing the um, the extra event here with the the bonus uh, game milestone. 5 million downloads. I'm happy with this. I'm hoping they keep doing this sort of stuff as well. Uh, freebies are freebies, and I'm always sick with that. But let's go through my general thoughts. So the first thing I want to say is, and you guys let me know your thoughts on the game, any feedback you have. Um, but I, the one thing that I love in this game is how easy it is to build multiple units. Uh, a lot of games that come out, it's like, okay, you've got to pick your, f like, you know, five, however many units you get in a game, and you've got to build them, and, like, that's it. Like, th then you're just fixed on those units. It's too expensive to build anything else. But, like, this game, it just feels like I can build a, a massive variety of units and have resources to do so. It feels like they've done well in making gear the main uh, bricking point, at least up until this stage of the game. Obviously, later on, it might change. But for now, it's like gear upgrading is your break point. So the idea is build up one of each weapon, essentially uh, build up five sets of uh, gear or like chest pieces, maybe six for arena if you want to. Uh, and then you're pretty much good to go from that point. Like that is you completely set up and then you can just level up the characters. Uh, you do start running dry on a bit of the rank up materials uh but me i am still looking pretty decent you can see i you know with doing the daily sweeps you're pretty good so i do think that is a fantastic system i'm absolutely loving the talent system i know it is a massive complaint from some people that you don't get to change your decision i would love to see like maybe like a um a one week grace when you select an ability it goes on a one week timer where you can change it if you want to i feel like that would be a really cool system because the permanence of it i love but also for people that just like want to experiment it also kind of sucks so I, I i think like having something like that would have been cool uh but in general i do like the talent system i like the fact that we've got limited slots and you've got to like choose your build on each character based on the situation you go into i just love the customization of everything in the game i think it's absolutely sick as for progress in this game um but like i am having so much fun i haven't had a chance to push the tower after i cleared chapter six uh it'll probably be on the last day because the last day is monday for me and that's when i got some more time and i'll push through the rest of chapter chapter seven and keep going now i am always going to try and do these clears with like free to play friendly teams um so that i can share them with you guys and stuff like that uh and that is going to be my goal but obviously i'm still going to use my other units at stages and stuff like that but Ideally, I do want to try and do like at least the dash fives with, uh, you know, more free to play friendly units because I am loving experimenting with a bunch of these free to play units that we do have inside the game. As for summons, like you guys have seen my account a fair bit. I have not summoned since um, I did my reroll. Essentially, I got the barrel. I got the, uh, the Gloria. I got them both in my first temple on the Gloria banner together. I did like then I did the 30 pulls and I got my Nona Will. And then I did like 30 pulls into the barrel coal banner because I just had the itchy, itchy summon finger uh, and got nothing. So that's pretty much where I am at for summons at the moment on this account. 
Uh, and I am still completely free to play. However, uh, I, I want to keep it completely honest with you guys. Uh, in most games that I play, actually in every game that I've played so far, I have never accepted creator rewards uh, on any of my free-to-play accounts because I always find it ruins the free-to-play experience. But after playing this game for a week, uh, I realized that playing an alt account is just going to be too intensive if I try pushing tower. Like, don't even get me started on trying to do the Spiral of Destinies because that just takes forever. So I decided on this account, I will accept uh, creator rewards just to keep it uh, completely honest with you guys. Uh, but I'm only going to use those creator rewards for summons to get characters so that I can test them. Because like I said, the thing that I love in this game is that you can um, build up a bunch of characters uh, pretty easily. And so I'm only going to use those summons to acquire the new characters uh, so that I can have them for testing and content and stuff like that while still trying to use free-to-play units to clear content. So I feel like that's a nice little balance. I'm not going to do it to get extra gear because I want my my experience to still be in line with the free to play on gear acquisition and all the resource management and stuff but the one exception is that I will use uh, creative rewards to get new heroes to bank the content like I said every other game I've played I always make an alt account to dump creative rewards onto but this game it's just it's just way too time intensive for me so I'm not going to be able to do that but that is just I just wanted to keep everything honest with you guys because people always ask me in other games like oh but you're getting creative rewards I'm like no I hate getting those because it ruins my free to play experience but this is the one game where I feel like you know it's evenly balanced where I can still do the free to play type teams and stuff like that and showcase them but I can just acquire the extra units so that I have more content to make and stuff like that so hopefully that's cool with you guys but um, that is what I am planning to do in this one something else I'm absolutely loving in the game is also the boss fights uh, being the, the gear drops and stuff like that i haven't had a chance to jump in today uh the previous one yesterday's one i had got to level seven uh so now i've got that one on sweep but i'm gonna jump into this one and try and get this going because i love finding those uh you know those 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 more common units that actually work in some of these fights uh, for the strategies to be able to progress through them. So I'm going to have a bit of a play tonight on this one, see if I can get in and clear number seven again. Uh, and I've also got to go ahead and do it over here uh, on these ones because you do only get the one try at these per day. So getting into the stage of starting to be able to get legendary drops is really huge for me because then it's like an extra thing you can farm with your stamina. If you guys saw my last video, like stamina farming is just the horrible on everything so the more things that i can have that i can do the extra extra attempt on um is going to be valuable to me so that is what i am looking at but i do think the actual gameplay loop of this game is super clean the other thing is with the sweep function uh because i've got so many heroes built uh i I, I never have to actually replay a stage because I just have enough characters to dump into the sweep function, which I absolutely love that for a quality of life, just never having to actually play through a stage that you've already cleared. Uh, and then you just get to focus all of your like main attention on with the, the Tower of Chaos uh, of Conquest chaos whatever it is which i i thoroughly enjoy those stages because they're a lot more strategic uh, and then also just trying to clear harder stages in the weapon trials and stuff like that uh, to actually have fun in those stages so i love games that don't force you into manually playing the boring stuff as for arena arena is something else that i, I i'm so i'm so excited to see when they do implement real-time arena um but at the moment i am still just playing through arena on auto mode uh just playing it like a pve mode just getting my quests up and trying to get as much as i can because i mean it's just it's super easy like that and when you look at the drops you get from daily grinding the uh the the, the stages and then how much of these resources you get it is so important to go ahead and do this uh, arena i'm not going to take seriously for a while i don't think um eventually i will you know try and try and you know set proper defenses at the moment where are we at we're at silver okay but i, I just don't see the point in pushing we've got tw uh, 19 days and five hours left i don't see the point in really pushing too hard in arena i feel like i'll just naturally get up these ranks and get the rewards so i really am hoping with the um introduction of the real-time arena that they do actually make it like a proper competitive system with like a matchmaking value so you can match up to people on a similar level to you compete get some rewards uh, ideally i would love to see it be like aesthetic rewards more so than just raw um 
raw like summoning come or materials or stuff like that i just think that would be a really cool way for them to implement it uh the games that have real competitive real-time arena and just do like more aesthetic rewards for your characters like maybe it doesn't matter what rank you get you just earn a currency which then you can go to the shop and get like different skins for characters and stuff like that i don't know we'll have to wait and see what they do i just really hope they do make some sort of competitiveness out of real-time arena and not just a little event that is like you know doesn't really matter but that is me i know some people hate pvp so they wouldn't want to see it but i am really really looking forward to jumping into that at global when they get it but that is pretty much where we are at on the account like i said we're level 36 um i've just got to burn some stamina i've got 90 stamina at the moment which is enough to get me into my next level. So once I've burned this bit of stamina, I'll be at level 37, which will then also unlock the next stage of the, um, the what, what do we call this? The Fool's, the fool's Journey. Uh, so I'll be able to grind through a bit more fuel Fool's Journey and get some more rewards because the thing I love about the Fool's Journey is we start getting some uh, legendaries in these things, which is super, super handy. What do these got? Three more there of those. Okay, possibly a weapon. I need some weapons. So yeah, I, dude, I, the Fool's Journey, I, I get genuinely excited to unlock new chapters of this at the moment because it just gives me guaranteed drops, which I am absolutely dying for because at the moment, I did finally get a bow. I finally got a bow, uh, but besides that, I still do not have a wand. Uh, I've got this sword and I still do not have a spear. I don't have a wand or a spear. So I am dying to get those things. As you can see, I finally got my first bow. But besides that, dude, I am struggling for these legendaries to get the right drops. I, I had no axes. I had like one sword and then I got like, like three of them dropped straight away. And I had... <laughs> I had no axes and then I had three drops straight away. Hoping I can do the same with the other things and fill out that roster. But anyway, that is my count. That is where I'm at. That is my plans for the game moving forward. I'm having a blast with this game. I think it really is one of those games that respects your time in the grind, but it lets you d like dive a bunch of time into the stuff that you really want to try and push for a bit more of the enjoyment factor. And that's why, once again, I won't be playing an alt account on this one because it's just like the time it takes to push tower and stuff like that, uh, it's just too long th to try and manage two accounts for. So that is my plans moving forward with this one. I will update you guys as we go. But uh, yeah, any other content you guys want to see, please let me know. Don't forget to exchange that code. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.